there's not just one victim in this situation. Um, there are a number of victims. Um, there's my wife and myself, uh, my daughter, uh, a 97 year old mother, my mother. Um, our lives have been totally altered um, and they, they can't be put back together completely. We can learn to live with the problem and live with the horror of what has happened. And uh, we, would, we would simply say, look, you know, this is what someone has done to us. Uh, please see fit to help us find out what happened to Melanie and who was responsible. What would you say to people who maybe were there on the night? What do you want them to try and remember? What was she... Can you describe, what, you know, her... Um, she would have just melted into the crowd. She was 25, she was young, she was blonde. And I expect there were a lot of young, blonde, 25-year-old girls there uh, in semi-darkness. Um, some people might have seen her. Um, there were a few reports of seeing her around the, the, the side of the dance floor. Um, and that's all people have been able to remember. I, I think really the crux of the thing is we're looking to what happened afterwards and what people know about the person or persons who killed Melanie. We actually believe, we have no reason for, for knowing this, but we do believe that and we think it's highly likely that a number of people knew what happened to her.